What's up guys, it's Ashling, and uh, welcome back to my channel. I've actually had like a free minute in between work calls, having a bit of lunch to sit down and make another video today. I want to first off say, I put up a video yesterday. A lot of you guys saw it. I only had the video up for two hours, so a lot of you guys did not see it, actually. I think it got like 3,000 views in about two hours, which was kind of crazy, which solidifies to me that I did the right thing by privating the video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I basically put up a video yesterday and I was kind of discussing the Tati, James Charles, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson situation and my kind of take on her latest video that she put up. I kind of summarized the topics that she covered in that video. I suppose I kind of gave my thoughts on her video. And after putting up the video, I actually was surprised because I thought I'd get way more hate, like, and lots, and I, I was only up for two hours, okay, so fair enough, like, Tati's fans or Jeffrey's fans or Shane's fans or whoever's fans hadn't kind of latched on to the video and started to attack me over things. However, I did get a couple of comments from regular subscribers, which are people that I actually care the most about on this channel, the people that visit my channel regularly, watch my content, and they said to me, this is just not you, girl, like, what the hell's going on? Like, why would you even participate in a video like this or a drama video? And to be honest, getting comments like that, I was like, yeah, why am I? Why am I making a video on people I don't know anything about? I just reacted to some of the comments she made in her videos and like triggered things in me and I just got so irrationally angry. I took down the video because there was a number of reasons. One, it does not fit what I want on this channel. I don't want drama on this channel. I've never had drama on this channel. I made one video last year that was slightly dramatic. I made a video back in my early days about Demi Lovato, other than talking about my own personal experience. I don't wanna go down that route of talking about drama. It's just not me. It doesn't fit my narrative. It doesn't fit the person that I am and it does not fit this channel. So I took the video down. So I'm sorry if a lot of you had wanted to sit down and watch what I had to say. To be honest, I, I still stand by everything I said in that video. Bar one comment that I did make in regards to Tati being manipulated and that I was just kind of been slightly ageist towards her, which I wasn't been ageist towards her. I was just looking at her as a whole picture and not been able to understand how on earth she was manipulated by someone like Jeffree Star or Shane Dawson. And I think it's just more to do with myself than her and what she was actually saying or talking about. It was just more like I was angry for her not seeing it, if that makes sense. I was angry that she let it happen to her. But I mean, like I said, intelligent women, intelligent men, intelligent people, intelligent humans, let things like that happen to them all the time and it happens daily and there's nothing shameful about it to say that somebody gassed, lit you or manipulated you into feeling a certain way about yourself or other people because it happens and it's very sad and it's awful but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be mocked like the way I kind of did yesterday and I didn't mean it in that way, I just meant it like I wanted to like shake her and say it like, why didn't you see it? And then I had to take a step back, look at my own experiences, what I've been through and I would consider myself quite an intelligent woman. I mean, I have a degree, I have multiple higher diplomas, I ran my own business, I ran my own nutrition clinic. I was manipulated by somebody who I said that I loved for nine years. I was made to feel stupid and crazy and told all those things and that I can't do this, can't do that, you can't cook, you can't drive, you won't be able to rear children, you can't do any of these things. And I was led to believe that I was dumb and crazy, nothing that I could do was ever right. I was just been completely and utterly brainwashed and manipulated and gaslighted by a person that I loved for so long and I didn't even realise it and it took a lot of counselling to kind of deal with it. So for Tati to be gaslit and brainwashed and manipulated by somebody who she had in her life for such a short period of time, I don't know why I couldn't wrap my head around that. So I can totally understand and that's why I want to take back what I said about her in regards to that. And like I said, this has just caused a whole kind of litany of like a mess now because I don't know why I even put out that video it was just the way I was feeling. It took me six hours of a turnaround to kind of like be like, take it down and just move on with your life. But I couldn't just ignore it that I made the video and just move on with my life. Um, I kind of felt like I needed to 
talk to you guys and oh some of my long-term subscribers a bit of an explanation and you guys are right it wasn't it's not my personality it's not who I am I don't know why I even got involved in the video I don't know why I made the video about it because like I said I want this channel to be drama free I'm drama free in my own life I have no dramas um I'm probably considered quite boring now I went through my fair share of dramas in like my early 20s and stuff and I just don't care to be involved in it anymore so why would I put out a video like that that is just not who I am? It never has been who I am. Had a couple of comments on the video like, oh, you're just jealous of Tati. I couldn't be further from jealous from her. For starters, I don't actually, I never have had jealousy towards another person in my life ever. Except for somebody who has like naturally long shiny hair. I'd be like, oh, I love her hair. But I wouldn't be jealous and envious of it. I just would say, oh, she's beautiful hair. I love it. Other than that, I don't really care. I, I'm not a jealous person in any way, shape or form. In fact, I feel a little bit sorry for some of those people because I feel like their lives are a little bit empty. They don't have real friends. Some of them do and some of them don't have real relationships. And some of them don't have any real happiness in their life. So I definitely don't. I'm not jealous of her, her life, where she lives anything like that I, I no I don't if I want something I'll work hard and I'll get it and I usually do so I didn't make that video out of jealousy it was more of like a reaction a knee-jerk reaction especially when she talked about the gaslighting and manipulation it just like triggers something in me I don't think there was any other comments I needed to address most people were kind of like agreeing with what I said in the video which kind of like again solidified to me that I shouldn't have a video like that up on YouTube because it's just fueling more people into getting irrationally angry at strangers and just picking sides and people that we don't know anything about their personal life we don't know anything about them and we don't know what they're going through we know nothing about them in general and I think we should just not care <laughs> I know people think like drama is entertainment. I mean, why else would we watch soaps or reality TV? But that is human nature, I guess. However, watching someone's downfall and watching someone being quite vulnerable on YouTube should not be a reason for me to make a reaction video. And like I said, I don't want content like that on my channel. Anyway, I'm rambling on here and I think I've made my point. I think you guys get it. Sorry if you were tuning in today to see that video. I'm still gonna leave the same thumbnail. It explains a bit more about what the video was about initially. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave the thumbnail as it is. And also, if you did click on this video, I have a couple of helpful links in the description bar in regards to Black Lives Matter movement. And I just want to kind of like bring a bit more awareness onto that and alert you guys to the grander scheme of things that are going on in the world and ways that we can help each other and not be dramatizing things try and help each other try and support each other and also that we are a bit kinder to each other in our everyday life and kinder to the people that we come across because we just don't know what's going on in their own life and sometimes people make comments that they don't necessarily mean sometimes people say things when they're having bad days and I just don't think that we should be kind of judging because who are we to judge and nobody's perfect. I mean, I've done things, like I've said in the past, that aren't perfect. And I think we've all done things in our past that we're not proud of. Yesterday being something that I just wish I didn't do. I wish I didn't put up the video. But it is no longer viewable. And thank God I only had it up for like, whatever, an hour and a half, two hours. So anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please thumbs it up. I'm going to have more fun content on this channel going forward. Right off yesterday as just me having a very bad day. <laughs> and we'll move forward and try and uh, do better next time. Okay, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.